The waiver wire is still boring as we go into week 9. It's the same names. It's the same running backs. But the Buffalo Bills said, hold my beer on Monday. We'll help you guys out. We'll give you a name to talk about. They picked up Leonard Fournette and put him on their practice squad. Everybody's talking him up. Everyone's putting him up high on the waiver wire rankings right now. And we have to look at Leonard Fournette because there's nothing else to do. But a lot of you are wondering about Leonard Fournette, whether or not you're going to need him in the future. So we're going to do that here today. We're going to look at the news, the facts, the data, and everything else. But what you need to do right now is click that subscribe button. Tap it with your finger on your phone. Click it with the mouse on your computer. Whatever you need to do to get the job done. Because we're helping you out with the waiver wire every day. We're helping you set those lineups. We're helping you find those players to get those trades done. And everything else. Click that button. Stop missing out. Let's take a look at Leonard Fournette real quick here. And here he is, Leonard Fournette. We have no stats on the season. Because he hasn't played yet this season. Six foot two twenty eight. That listing isn't real. It could be 230, 235, whatever it is. Doesn't really matter. He's on a roster. He is on the practice squad right now. We're watching to see what's going on with Leonard Fournette. We're viewing from afar right now. But going over stats from last year was productive, though. Was doing some things. We had one, two, three, four RB1 weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six RB2 weeks. So he was able to do something for you in fantasy. 14.1 PPR points per game. Sitting there on waivers all year long. Just waiting for his opportunity. With how the market treats running backs these days. These older running backs are sitting out there on waivers. You will just have to wait a little bit as we see them get signed. And usually it's going to be middle of the year right before the season. Because these older running backs command a little bit more money. They got a little bit more mileage. There's not a huge demand for running backs anymore. The supply is kind of big. And it takes a guy like Leonard Fournette some extra time to land on an NFL team. But he has been productive recently. And then over the last few years, from 2020 up to 2022, you see a lot of green candlesticks. You see some RB1 weeks there. You see him being productive. That is with the Tom Brady... Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but still he was able to get the job done. He was still able to be used in fantasy. Over that time, he averaged 14.3 PPR fantasy points. So that's what we're looking at. Over the course of his career, he has been productive. We have two 1,000-yard seasons. Last year, 668 yards, 812 yards a year prior. So he can be productive, and he has a history, a good track record of being used in the passing game. He caught 73 balls in 2022, 69 the year prior. That was with Tom Brady, though, who was top in the league in pass attempts, but still using the pass game. Caught 76 balls with Jacksonville. Yards after contact per attempt, solid. You can see it going down throughout the years, but had a big upswing in 2021 with 3.11, 2.71 on his career. Creates a lot of missed tackles. Bigger running back who's got some pop in the step. That pops going slower and slower by the year, but still, that's to be expected as you get older. But looking at the Buffalo Bills here, James Cook has been the dude getting the yards, getting the touches, using the passing game, getting a large market share of the touches out of the backfield. One rushing touchdown on the season. They lost Damian Harris. They have Latavius Murray as the RB2. Latavius Murray isn't getting it done. He's getting goal line works and everything like that, which could be helpful in fantasy if he falls over the goal line. But for real football, he's not getting it done. They need something else. Leonard Fournette could potentially be that dude. They need that putter in their back. They need that guy to get them across the goal line once they're inside the 5, inside the 10 that they can hand it off to. Latavius Murray, he's a veteran. He can do some things, but they need to get better. 3.6 yards per carry is not getting it done. 143 yards over eight games. They need an RB2 to pair well with James Cook. They can't pound James Cook into the ground. They use him a lot in the passing game as well. And they need this bigger back to be explosive, to be that hammer, to get them across the goal line. And that look they're going to give with Leonard Fournette might mean they're going to have that. And Leonard Fournette is signed to play. They're not signing him to be the RB3. They're signing him 
to compete initially with Latavius Murray and take over the role and really be that putter in their bag, put that putter out onto the green and really get it over the goal line. And that's what they have there with Leonard Fournette. And a lot of people were looking at Latavius Murray off and on throughout the year as that potential goal line threat for the Bills. He's only been productive a little bit when he scored a couple touchdowns here and there, but still has not been getting it done, giving you no consistency. You're just praying on a whim that he crosses the goal line. Leonard Fournette might get more opportunities here. He's a speculation. A speculation is a guy you're putting some chips on because he might benefit from this offense. Just look at the schedule here. They're in shootouts. They're scoring points. They're in games that require points to be scored. They're winning games. They're getting in the goal line. This offense historically moves the football, not just now, but years prior. We all know this. We want running backs on the Bills. We want players on the Bills. We want players on good teams that can move the football. Leonard Fournette being the RB2 here, eventually getting that spot is going to up his fantasy value. Again, it really depends on what you want, though, because if you have enough stashes, then he may not be your guy. But he's a guy that you can use as a lottery ticket. Schedule down the line. You got Denver there. Tough one against the Jets. You got Philly. You got the Chiefs. You got Dallas. You got Chargers. You got the Patriots. So you got some up and down competition against the run game. But it doesn't really matter. It's not like he's getting 20 carries a game. It's when the Bills can push the pace, get it downfield, give them that goal line look, falls over the end zone, catches a couple balls, and you're in the money. And we're waiting to see when he climbs the depth chart. You need him because you need a running back stash. That's what he is right now. He's a stash at running back. You're hoping to see if he crosses the goal line. You're hoping to see what he does in the future. You're hoping to see how quick he gets off the practice squad. You want to see how many snaps he gets. How many carries he gets, nothing's guaranteed. I'm not going to say you need him. I'm not going to say that. But if you need a stash and you're bored with the stashes there, then that's a running back to look at. You don't need him because you're stashed out. You're stashed out. You hit on some stashes. You're good at the wide receivers. You're good at running back. You already got a stash. You're stashed out. You got your running back. Maybe you have somebody else you like. And that's really what's going on right now. You're stashed out. You don't need them. And you're letting somebody else pick them up. And you know what? Maybe people play hot potato with them a little bit. He gets back on waivers. Then he starts getting his opportunity. Maybe he gets it soon. Maybe it's in a few weeks. But he's here. And we got to talk about him. People are asking questions. I don't think you exactly need him right now. But I think people are running to him off the waiver wire pretty quickly here. Because a lot of people are talking him up. A lot of people are searching his name. A lot of people are bringing him up on articles. So if you want him and you want him as a stash, you may want to get him now. Or you just wait a little bit, see if he gets released back to the waiver wire after a few weeks. Because in redraft, managers get pretty volatile with these prospects. They'll drop them pretty quick after a few weeks of no production. So you could always wait it out as well if you're just a little bit interested. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.